Today we are going to look at a BMI digital scale which we purchased off from the market. Uh, this basically scale shows, shows you all the different um, characteristics of the body uh, apart from weight. So it tells you the body fat, it tells you uh, the, wa the water content, it tells you all the other interesting things that you will need to know from a BMI standpoint perspective. The only thing that was lacking in the scale was it was not storing these values. So all it was doing was it was capturing all this data showing you off on the screen here but uh, it was not kind of show, it not not storing it anywhere so if i wanted to look at the trend of my weight as a simple example i was not able to do that so uh, to, in today's video uh, what we're going to look at is how we hack the scale uh, so you see this hacking um, the small circuit board that we built around for hacking this and uh, how we kind of achieved uh, all these values um, to be shown up onto google sheets uh, directly using Wi-Fi and using an ESP8266 chip. So let's look at the construction of the scale. The scale is pretty simple thing. Um, it has weight sensors uh, embedded in its legs, uh, which tells you the weight on the screen here. Apart from this, the scale also captures uh, BMI details that is via sending through electrical impulses through these steel pads whenever you stand on them. So whenever your legs come in contact with these two steel pads, uh, there is an electrical impulse and depending on the impedance uh, that it registers, it tells you different parameters of your body like water content, weight, fat, uh, all the other um, seven or six parameters that it kind of records. So the whole idea behind hacking this scale was I should be able to get all these values up on my Google Sheet so I can look at the trend of the weight. So if I'm trying to exercise more, if I'm eating more, if my habits are good or not, uh, to take a gauge at the, uh, those things, I wanted to uh, look at and um, I wanted to look at these values on the cloud uh, or, or on the Google Sheet so that I can trend them. So the price of the scale was around about 1,500 INR, uh, if I'm not wrong, and I bought this from uh, Flipkart. Uh, apart from that, uh, these simple PCB that I made uh, costed me around about uh, another thousand bucks, and I think uh, for 2K approximately. Uh, INR, I was able to kind of hack this scale using this ESP8266 chip and put all the data that is that it shows on the display uh, via Wi-Fi onto Google Sheet. Uh, this is what we achieved and the hacking was again uh, something which was DIY, it is not professional so you see all the cell tape, you see all the, all the, all the circuit board lying outside and stuff like that. Uh, also at the same time I, want, I wanted this to be battery efficient so that whenever uh, if I charge the battery up you see this is the small uh, BLC5C Nokia's battery that I kind of salvaged from another uh, uh, phone. Uh, so this battery itself uh, should not get discharged. It should at least last weeks for me, uh, uh, if not months. Uh, and that is what I wanted to achieve. So uh, we did a lot of uh, tricks for that and I'll show you all that in detail in the schematics uh, of this video. But then uh, going around uh, quickly through the build, uh, the build was basically around about building this PCB uh, which I ordered through PCB power. Uh, I'll show you all the schematics and everything uh, down inside. Apart from that, uh, also there was a little hacking point wherein we had to kind of go through the internal circuitry of this uh, scale and come up with this three, three points which you see here. So this three points is nothing but you have a ground and a digital uh, signal out which is nothing but a UART signal which is kind of routed through the wires and back into the PCB and that is how the ESP8266 chip, uh, 8266 chip uh, kind of records or views the details uh, of what is going on in turn inside of this, um, of this scale. So yeah that's pretty much from the construction standpoint it's, it was pretty easy. Uh, the main part uh, that I uh, that I foresee or that that went into this hack was about deciphering the protocol, and uh, we will go through that uh, quickly uh, after this uh, after this build is done. Okay, in this section of the video, I'm quickly go over with the setup required uh, for the scale to work. Uh, the whole idea of the system is very simple, right? Even once you kind of stand on the scale, uh, whatever information is displayed on the screen, you should be able to view it on Google Sheet. And that is exactly what I've done. So let me just quickly show you how the thing works on my Google Sheet. So this is the chart that is kind of rendered from the data that comes in. Uh, and this chart basically tells me what was my weight and how it was recorded and 
uh you know how it went through uh the different uh, different days and is it uh, so this trend line indicates is it climbing or is it decreasing or, or whatever unfortunately in my case it is climbing so i still have to take a look at it but then the gaps in between these lines right the blue line is the real data and whereas the red line is the trend line that is uh, kind of constructed out of these data but then the gaps in this data is basically where i, I did not weigh myself for the, those days so this is like per day or per recording uh, whatever weight i have calculated and received and stuff like that so this is in regards to the weight so this simply gives you a, a detailed view of what is happening with your weight and uh, how it's trending over over a given timeline similarly it also captures all the other things so uh, this is how it kind of puts the data in the google sheet so whenever you stand out that scale a new row is added and it tells all this information that is available to you for example in this case uh, it tells me my weight is 88 kilos at the same time the fat was this much the muscle the bone density and the total water water body uh, water uh, thing in my body was uh, percentage was this much so all this accumulated all this data can be very useful and insightful uh, with the help of date time uh, date time which tells me you know i can basically trend it and see what is going wrong or how am i doing fair or how am i faring uh, in, in in terms of uh, weight with this skill uh, now switching back to uh, what exactly or what is there on that uh, simple schematic uh, this uh, this is the schematic for that board and it's very pretty simple uh, thing uh, basically what happens is your your weight scale exposes data in in, in form of an spy right in form of a spy protocol so what i did is basically i just hacked into the uh, main circuit board of the wi-fi weight of the weight scale uh, you know soldered certain wires and routed them across uh, to esp8266 and this is where they come and connect basically so this is the place where basically the the, the receive pin so i just have the receive pin from the uh, or the transmit pin pin from the wi-fi scale uh, I, I have not taken out the receives uh, receive pin so uh, i am just reading data from it so it's just like one way so in that case this is how i'm receiving it in esp8266 and this is the circuitry around esp8266 the circuitry around this is very simple it is just the basic circuitry required so that i can program my esp8266 uh, on the uh, on the circuit board itself and as well as you know connect an oled display so you can see this section which is not there or which is not i have not shown in that demo of the video is basically this part so the uh, there is another functionality where you can add the oled display uh, i have kind of made provisions for it on the board but i haven't connected any display to it because that also consumes power and the whole thing for me was uh, so the whole oled thing uh, did help me to kind of uh, debug through the project and uh, uh, display all the correct weights and stuff like that but then you can use the oled uh, display if you want uh, the next and the interesting part which is the main uh, circuit uh, for data uh, for battery saving is this circuit this is nothing but a simple sr latch which is connected to the chip um, chip power down pin of the esp8266 or the reset pin of the esp8266 what it does what this does is basically it monitors the uh, incoming uh, tx line from the uh, scale itself and basically uh, uh, sets or resets the reset pin so if the chip is in the research state or in the power down state it is not going to consume any power so it comes around the, the consumption actually comes around to 700 micro amperes uh, when it is not doing anything but as soon as you step on the scale and the chip starts to transmit data at the same time the ssr latch uh, sets into the trigger state and basically uh, uh, kicks in the reset pin of the esp8266 which, which brings the esp8266 in ac action once this comes into action it starts reading the data on the serial bus uh, on the uart pin and basically then uh, kind of uh, you know collects all that data and sends it out to the google sheet and this is where basically it is recorded on the google uh, google sheets database so this is basically like a database and uh, you can dump uh, and you can weigh yourself how much uh, how many times you want and the sp8266 chip, chip via the wi-fi will try to dump your data here and after uh, once it is uh, dumped here you can basically derive charts like this uh, from your data and whatnot so that's uh, that's the base intent of it so once the data reaches the cloud or once the data reaches the the uh, google sheet of your account you should be able to easily kind of uh, you know make trend lines and make charts out of it 
but then coming back to the wi-fi section uh, coming back to the schematics part of this wi-fi digital scale uh, there is nothing much to it these are indicative leds which i uh, kind of uh, eliminated because of the power consumption that they were kind of requiring so but this is, these things are still available on the uh, on the pcb uh, and the the main the main heart of the chip the main heart of the circuit is basically this esp8266 combined with this sr latch which helps in uh you know uh, reducing the power consumption and so on and so forth i designed the whole schematic and and the circuit layout in easy eda it's a very simple thing this is the circuit layout of that uh, this, this is an online uh, web editor kind of a thing where you can route your circuits and put all the things required inside it at the same time uh, i designed the schematic also in the same uh, easy eda thing uh, and obviously i ordered the whole thing via pcb power uh, which is basically very cheap in terms of uh, you know when you when when you require when you require very uh, easy uh, access to uh, making circuit boards for diy purposes so they are pretty cheap is what i uh, know for now, for now uh, so that is how i did and if you want more information about how the whole thing was decoded this is the github page i'll put all the links in the description uh this will tell you how i did the protocol deciphering uh what was there uh, on the on the on the internals of the chip itself uh, on the scale itself uh what wires were connected how the whole uh, decoding thing happened how do we uh, how do i decoded the whole protocol and stuff like that so it's all there on this wiki uh, wiki page uh, uh for this uh, thing uh, 